In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo of the Claude Talk to Figma MCP server, which allows you to interact with your Figma documents directly from Claude Desktop. So I'm just going to dive right into this. The first thing that I did was I went ahead and cloned the repo and I did bun install and then bun setup and then bun socket to start the WebSocket server that Claude uses to talk back and forth with Figma. After that, what I'll do is on the repo homepage, go to the releases, and then you'll find a release zip file, download that, unzip it, and the setup instructions say that you can just double click this DTX file, but on a Mac, at least, that doesn't work for me. So what I needed to do was go to the file, open up that directory, go to the manifest file, and then that's what you can use to import into Figma so that you have the actual plugin in Figma. So there you see it on Figma now. And so the next thing that I needed to do was go to my settings in Claude Desktop go to extensions and then advanced settings, or you can drag a DTX file here, but you can go to advanced and you can go to install unpacked extension, and then you can find that directory or the, the DTX folder and then click open, click install. And then after that, you can see that it's installed here. So the next thing that you can do is go to Figma, open up that plugin, and then you'll see that it connects to the WebSocket server. You want to copy this channel ID from Figma, and then within Claude Desktop, you'll want to connect to that channel. And that will kick off the connection between your Claude Desktop and your Figma. It'll ask to join that channel, so now it's connected. You might get a permission request. Go ahead and just click yes on that. So now it's connected to Figma. And I'll try to flip back and forth here, but what I thought I'd do is just go ahead and take this existing document. I'll move this out of the way and I'll select this frame here and I'll say, I have a frame chosen in my Figma file. Can you please modify that design from a time tracking to an invoicing tool? So update all of the text and adjust the features to represent an invoicing tool. Okay, so let's try this. And I'll go ahead and just kind of shrink this down a bit so we can see. So it's getting a selection, it's getting the node info, it's going to scan those things, you can see it kind of scanned some of those elements. Okay, so now it's going to update those. And we'll see it happen here. Okay, so I just need to click allow on this and there you go. You can see it's updating those elements. It updated the primary hero to invoicing. It updated the invoices, uh, it says invoices sent now, payment volume, happy clients. And you can see it talks about invoices as well. So there you go, I just updated this design from within Claude desktop. And what I'd like to try now is actually something a little bit more complex. So on the repo homepage and in the readme, they have a few guidelines here about usage, giving you some details on how to prompt. And so what I thought I would do is just try this one that they say is a good prompt. So I'll copy this and within Figma, I'm going to go to a new document. And then what I think I need to do is tell it to connect here. I will actually just make a frame first. So let's just make a frame and then I'll see if it can open that or look at that instead. So we'll go back to Claude. I'll say, take a look and connect to the new frame I have selected. 
Um, I think I might need to restart the plugin. So let's try that. I'll disconnect and then connect. Let's try this. Connect to channel ID this and look at my selection. So it's going to join the channel again, get selection. So I think if you're swapping between documents, you'll have to disconnect, reconnect like I just did. So it can see my frame. Let's go ahead and try this prompt now. Create a dashboard with a sidebar navigation header and user profile with main content area and card-based metrics. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I'll allow it and we'll see what it can do. So it already resized my frame, it looks like. And there it goes, it's creating some design elements. Let me just shrink this down even more if I can. There we go, it's creating a nav. This is pretty cool. It's not super fast, as you can see, but it's definitely has potential. Welcome back, John. And I just need to make sure I'm giving permission as it goes through. And I'm probably going to leave this uncut Pretty much the whole video will be unedited just so you can see real time how fast or slow rather this is. So I'm just going to keep watching and giving permission as it as I need to. So it looks like it's creating those metric cards now. Very cool. Now, the reason that I am really excited about this tool is because I'm definitely no designer. And I'm kind of surprised that Figma doesn't already have this stuff built in. Uh, I know they have Figma designed to code. And maybe they do have generative UI features that I'm just not aware of. If they do, if you could comment below, let me know. But uh, I'm surprised they don't have this built in to their product already. There it goes. It looks like it's just going to keep going. So we've got a menu with overview, analytics, report settings, we've got total revenue, active users, conversion rate. We have a profile button here. Let's see what else it gets here. And like I said, it's definitely, you know, this is pretty slow, but you could imagine using this for prototypes or, you know, just some rough brainstorming sessions. And modifying it seems to be a little bit faster. Brand new creation maybe a little bit slower, but it's definitely doing the job. It's, it's following the prompt that I gave it, which was not super detailed, but, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, comment below. Are you going to, are you going to try this out? What, what's your use case for this? I'm interested to hear from people that are more on the design side of the house. Is this something that you would find useful? Uh, let me know. So I think it'll probably finish up here since that, that'll probably be the last metric card that it creates, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Done. Created a complete dashboard. So I'm overall pretty impressed. I'm not sure if this is something designers would find useful, but just given its, its speed. But comment down below. Let me know what do you think of this? Uh, interested to hear from you, like I said. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like if you found the video useful and consider subscribing for more content in the future. Thanks.